Hello, my wonderful, beautiful friends. Today, I am recreating one of my favorite pieces ever, the Complaint Raccoon. I'm not going to talk through this whole video, but I wanted to give you some background on this design, tell you why I'm recreating it, and then I'll chime in here and there with commentary on the process. I hope you enjoy. So the background to this piece is that one day my roommate said, I complain a lot, it's kind of my thing. And immediately I was like, oh, I need to letter that. And she was like, okay, well when you do, uh, make sure there's a raccoon drinking a mug of coffee. And I was like, okay, deal, absolutely, I'm on it. And that's how this masterpiece came to be, and I love him so much. <laughs> I originally made this piece back in February of 2021 and I put it on my Redbubble account because I just thought it was so cute and my mom ended up ordering a hoodie with this design on it for my roommate as a gift and I so badly wish I had taken a video of her opening it because her reaction was fantastic um, and I, I still haven't gotten myself a complete raccoon hoodie but I need to. <laughs> So the big question, why am I recreating this piece if I already love it so much? Well, I actually have some bad news. Um, I didn't save the original Procreate file, and now I want to be able to make this piece available for licensing opportunities, and to do that properly I need to have the editable layers. So I thought why not just have some fun with it? recreate it and make a video out of it so that is that is why it's because I screwed up truthfully um, <laughs> don't don't delete your original files this is probably one of the very first pieces I made where I did these funky groovy letters that just kind of do their own thing and it's funny because I distinctly remember making these letters and thinking, I'm just gonna be weird with it. And now this has basically become my favorite lettering style to do in every piece. Uh, and like every time I make a piece with these funky letters, it turns out to be like my favorite thing ever. So like the pumpkin spice thing that I made in September, loved that. Just anything with these goofy, uh, not goofy, but like, yeah, they're kind of goofy. Goofy, groovy letters. I love them. They just, they have so much character. And so like, this is the first time, one of the first times I ever did them. So that makes this piece even more special. When I originally made this piece, of course, I had to make the decision to color in everything by hand. Um, I love doing that. I think it's so much fun. It adds so much texture and like makes it look and feel more like traditional art than digital art. Um, but my wrist is mad at me after this. Uh, it's fine. I'm fine. Just, just chronic pain things. Um, but I, I wanted to replicate the original as much, as much as possible, so I, I did it. I did it anyway. Um, I, I, I promise I will not be hand coloring for a few weeks. <laughs> I'm not sure which pencil brush I used in the original piece, but for this one I decided to use the Lacy Line Brush from Fizz and Flourish's Brush Pack, which I've been absolutely loving. Um, the whole brush pack is just wonderful, but this brush in particular just is, is so, it's so delicious. The texture is so yummy. 
I hate that I'm using the word yummy to describe texture, but it is. It is. It's yummy. That's that's the, that's the best way I can think to describe it. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend these brushes. Not affiliated with Fizz and Flourish at all, but they're wonderful. And I totally forgot um, when I started working on this piece that I had colored the raccoon with watercolor brushes. Uh, so when I got to that part, I was like, oh, shit, I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I used the Max Pax watercolor brush pack in the original piece, so I dug into that one as well. These are my favorite watercolor brushes to use. Um, and it was really fun. It was really fun practicing with it again. Uh, you'll notice that I kind of go over the same spots over and over, and that's because with these brushes, I, I want to keep the texture because the texture is really nice. Um, so I just build up the opacity slowly. In here, I'm just taking the eraser and shaping up those little eye spots, and then I'm taking a smudge brush and smoothing them out because I don't want those edges to be too harsh. And here I realized that in the original piece, uh, his base color was much lighter. I had used a very light gray, not quite white, but very close to it as the base color and then went from lighter tones to darker tones, which is basically what you do in uh, traditional painting as well. As just a little side note while we paint away, um, I do want to clarify that while this video is only ten and a half minutes long, uh, the painting took me about three hours. Uh, this entire piece took me roughly three hours. In Procreate it says two hours and fifty minutes, and uh, I didn't record all of that, um, but I did record about seventy minutes of it. So please clap for the fact that I was able. <laughs> to pull this all the way down to 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, I wanted to do my best to show you guys the full process as much as I could. Um, and it, it involved a lot of speeding up, a lot of speeding up, as you can tell. I kept referring back to the original to make sure all of my color placement was correct, and I realized the shapes around the eyes uh, weren't quite right. I needed to shape them up a little bit more, so I brought in my eraser and just, you know, cleaned them up, shaped them up, and made them look a little bit more like beans than messy ovals. <laughs> I had already laid down some white around his nose and above his eyes, but I realized the texture wasn't quite right, and I think I had used a different brush uh, in the original version, so I went back, erased what I had done before, and I think I found the right brush, or at least one a lot closer to the original one, and I like how it looks a whole lot better.
And now for a little before and after. Ta-da! <laughs> and there you have it. That is my new refreshed complaint raccoon, all ready for licensing projects. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And whatever you get up to today, no matter the weather, always bring your own sunshine. Bye.